Hello, this is Marvin Glockfelty here with another NGWA Industry Connected video. Today I'm going to talk about dual rotary drilling. This is a uh, becoming a more and more popular approach to installation of wells in certain environments where it makes sense. So I wanted to try to clarify the uh, the nature of this type of drilling, the advantages, the considerations. And so uh, I'd like to just to keep things clear, I want to share my screen here real quick and um, show you an image of the uh, dual rotary rig. That's it on the, you see that on the left. Uh, the thing that a dual rotary rig can do is actually provide another alternative to what cable tool rigs already did. Um, as you may know, with cable tool rigs, we're just moving a cable up and down to uh, advance the borehole, and then we can drive the casing into the ground, like with a pile driver type method, um, keep the borehole open. But with a dual rotary rig, if you look at the uh, image on the right, you'll see that we are advancing this casing. It has carbide inserts at the base of it, so it can be rotated. So we can rotate the, uh, we have a, a rotating head uh, that can spin the casing and actually spin it into the ground, but within it is another drill pipe. Now this is a threaded drill pipe, so this turns to the right, so everything stays screwed together. The casing though is welded, so it can rotate to the right or to the left, and that provides some versatility. So, um, this kind of drilling, and we have just uh, to uh, show you what it looks like in the real image here. This is the casing, this is the lower drive head, and then the upper uh, rotating head is up here, and here's the drill pipe. So, so as we uh, advance the casing, we can circulate the cuttings out from within it by either pumping compressed air or drilling mud down to the bit, return it up either to a cyclone like shown here or just directly into a mud pit through a Kelly hose. And so um, this is uh, this is direct circulation, which is often done, but it's also possible to do flooded reverse circulation where fluid is pumped into the annulus between the inner drill pipe and the well casing, the DR casing as they call it, um, and then reverse circulated back up uh, to the uh, to the Kelly hose and then out to the mud pit, and I'll show you a photograph of that setup in just a second. So either way it can be done, but um, and like I say, we have uh, advantages whether uh, you're doing direct or reverse. On the left, we see the upper and lower hydraulic rotary drive heads on this drilling rig, and this is flooded reverse circulation. So we see fluid being pumped through this white hose into the DR casing. The cuttings are being reversed up through the drill pipe and then returned through the Kelly hose into the mud pit, which is what this uh, brown uh, steel structure is on the left. So we can advance the DR casing all the way to its total depth. But of course, like with cable tool, we either need to do a pullback completion or a uh, perforate the existing casing, in which case we may have some sand come in. So on the right hand side, you see where the upper hydraulic drive head has been rotated to the horizontal position to get it out of the way. And these drillers are picking up a piece of wire wrap screen to do a pullback completion. So they're going to install the wire wrap screen down to the total depth. They've already drilled to the total depth with the larger diameter DR casing. And after they have that screen in place, they add filter pack sand as they pull out the DR casing real easy to sand lock so in, in situations like this you need a very experienced uh, driller which we had in this case we had uh, this was a program for dewatering wells at a wastewater treatment plant we installed four of them to about 300 feet very successfully and uh and so we have a, a good uh, good facility in place there now so for, for this type of drilling, the, the bottom line is we can do things that are difficult to do with conventional drilling. So here's a cartoon of the 
of the uh, VR rig on the, on the left side drilling through cobbles. Normally, cobbles, we have bad loss circulation and we have difficulty advancing the bit through these cobbles because it wants to be deflected off of them. So with uh, cobbles, what we can do is have our center bit, if you will, pothole into a cobble and get the start into it and then advance the outer casing around that and it'll follow that lead bit and uh, be able to advance the borehole. The loss circulation, so the fluid losses into this very porous formation would be problematic if we were just trying to circulate fluids, but all the circulation is happening inside this DR casing, and so that really alleviates the problem and we can advance that borehole. In other areas, we may have flowing sand, so this is cases where we have what drillers sometimes call quicksand. We have sand that'll just flow right into the borehole. Well, in that case, we can just advance the casing around it, uh, get a stabilized situation, and uh, with our center bit pulled up a, a, a distance inside that casing, and then advance it down and clean out that uh, accumulated sediment that has now flowed in. So doing this, we can again, we can advance the borehole, and it really works well for us. Um, on that front. So DR case uh, drilling is not for every type of hydrogeologic environment, but there are many places where it's applicable. Down by a riverbed, in areas of bad loss circulation, in, in dune sand, we have these, these environments and the DR rigs are very useful. That's not to say that they aren't just fine in other environments, but in these environments they just are a saving grace. So uh, I wanted to uh, just kind of clarify that approach and recommend that any time that someone's having to do wells in such an environment, they might want to consider dual rotary. Um, they've been around now. They had trouble in decades ago with, with torque, but now the, the current provider of these drilling rigs has solved all those problems to my knowledge. And it's very versatile, very useful, and so I would recommend them. Thank you, and I'll talk to you again next time.